hi everyone welcome to the channel welcome if you're new my hands are a little dirty um i got out some pastels that um i want to do so i found this reference photo on pixabay of the cutest little seal um and i just love all the colors so i decided for this piece it's going to be mixed media um i have out my oil pastels still from the last video that i did of this guy so I thought while I have out my pastels my oil pastels I'm gonna try a little mixed media piece um, if it works out cool if it doesn't that's fine I don't have to put it up but I was thinking as I was sketching him with my Sakura um, Sumo Grip 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil with the cool eraser on the end that I got in an art box I'm digging this pencil so much that I, I like the graphite, um, I, I like that I can see the bits of graphite lines in, it's like through the pastels on this piece, like in his beak especially, but um, I thought I'd take it even a further, step further and go ahead and do a base in just pastels and get some of these colors in here. Um, I'm using my tools, these are blending tools, um, they're foamy, almost makeup sponges. They're a little more dense, so they don't um, leave as much pigment um, on the page. More than you want. I, I just love these tools. I love pan pastels. And I thought we could get in a little like water effect back here. And I'm not going to mind it going over him because he's kind of reflecting all of those colors as well, which I thought was really, really pretty. He's just gorgeous. I'm, I'm going to show you the picture. Um, I'm not going to zoom back in. I'll, I'll pop the reference photo below, but I just love the colors, the reflections of the water, and his colors are so pretty. I thought I'd give it a whirl, see what happens. Um, but I want to do a, um, kind of a loose, let's get that out of the way, a loose, this is turquoise shade right here, which I thought was super pretty. Put some in him as well, because I like it. Um, my thought pattern was to get in these shades, these gorgeous, gorgeous colors, and um, textures with the chalk in the background. And then when I put the oil pastels on him, he's just going to pop clean off the page, you guys. Like clean off the page. It's going to be great. I don't know if I need all the colors I got out. I don't think I do. Do I? It's hard to tell. This might be too big. I'm going to go ahead and get that edge in. These pan pastels go on so thin that they kind of glaze the paper and you can put them over to the top of each other so nicely. They blend well, they play well together. I love pan pastels. Uh, even if you just get a couple like colors that you always use um, in your pastel paintings for backgrounds, uh, well worth the purchase because I've had these pastels for years. A good almost four years now and um yeah I really love them so a little pan pastel endorsement right there no I'm not um important enough youtuber right now to be endorsed by anybody <laughs> which is totally fine uh it'll come right with time if I'm patient do I want to put in a little pale gray maybe kind of 
Give it a little cool, watery. Yeah, look at that. That shine on the water. Look at that. Love it. Dig pan pastels so much. And you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. And if you can't afford pan pastels or you don't have an art store near you that has them or you're in a region where they're super ridiculous expensive, try... Um, I actually saw when I was in Walmart some really beautiful makeup um, palettes. That, that, I was looking at them. There's so many rich browns and golds and metallic coppers. And Lindsay, the frugal crafter, um, is the one that gave me that idea. And I was like, huh, maybe next time I come to Walmart, I'll pick some of that up. Yeah, that looks interesting. Now, I do not know how the oil pastels are, are, are going to go down over the chalk. I would imagine they'll kind of push it out of the way, right? I would think. And this is that paper that I don't like, but it's the back side. I didn't even think to work on the back side of the paper. Duh. Ooh, stuck my finger in the white. This is that Ingress pad. The Colin, Colin Bradley Art Ingress Pad Landscape. There's an actual website as well. Um, yeah, didn't think to work on the back of it, <coughs> which, as you can see, is so much smoother than the other, than the other, the other one that I was using. The other side is wicked textured. It's not okay. It's very distracting and irritating. Okay. Am I, am I almost done playing with the background here? could pick at the background forever, right? For probably way too long. Let's get some of this turquoise in there. Kind of pull it in from the side. Do we like that? Yes, we do. Let's put some more here. Yeah, that looks cool. I dig it. Yeah, this is taking the pan pastel remarkably well. I may have to get in on this paper with my chalk pastels instead of oil pastels. Drawback. If you don't like that, um, they have want different kinds of um, application tools for your pastels. Just take... This is my 2 inch Creative Mark Mimic wash brush. I've been using it as like a little sweeper. Look at that. Ah, gorgeous. I dig it so much. And I do have a piece of uh, drawing paper down on the table as well that I taped my paper to with washi tape to make it an 8 by 10 size for the actual piece that I'm doing. Because the paper, the pad is traditional 8.5 by 11 and 3 quarters or whatever it is for regular like typing paper sized. And I try to work in traditional sizes. All right, let's see what we can do with oil pastels now, yes? Yes? I think so. Let's go in. I want to go in with a light color first. Let's choose this one. What are you? I'll give names until I rip the wrappers off and then I won't know. Pale orange. And these are my Mungio. Gosh darn it. Mungio. Um, pastel, oil pastels. I'm just going to scrub right in. Now this, this side of the paper is pretty smooth, so I'm probably not going to get a lot of layers, but that's okay. I wanted this to be kind of a smooth 
shiny looking piece because seals are shiny they're wet this dude is very very he like just poked up out of the water wet and he is adorable and I love all the lighting on him love it get that chalk pastel and oil pastel mixed together look at that mmm mm. I dig it I have to pull that paper off soon I like this color mixed in with those. That looks awesome. Digging it. And I'm trying to remember, uh, even though he's wet, he is furry. I mean, seals are furry. They have um, a beautiful thin coat of fur on them. Let's just work up that chalk pastel a little bit and get him denoted on the page a squish and then I want light right here kind of pressing really hard with the with the pastel I'm putting in my lights first I usually my thought on the last piece was to work um, dark colors first and then do my light colors but I had some trouble with that so now I'm going in with with my light colors and scribbling around and kind of blocking in those light areas get his form denoted a bit I want this lightness right here on the tip of that nose. Yeah. And then along here. Because I don't know how much this, this side of the paper is going to be able to take. So I figured I'd drop in my light areas first. And if your pastel gets dirty, just that's part of the reason why there's a paper towel here kind of dab it off so that you can get in there with your fresher color and really get it laid down yeah I like it a little bit there I'm pressing very firmly on the page good and I love how how painterly his his fur looks. It looks painted. Like someone just threw paint at him. I dig it. Okay. So that's that's pretty much the light area. Well no, I got a couple more of this eye over here. Just a touch right there. And maybe a little skim on the back of that head where the light's reflecting off the water and shining on his fur. There he is. There he is. Get in here. And yeah. I'm liking this. Okay. That's that one. Now, we're going to go a little darker, but not too dark. Let's try this ochre color. A little yellow. I don't want maybe too much of it, but it'll give him a little glow, right? Here and there. A little bit through here. Like that. Side of the nose. Side of that jowl. There. <clears throat> Just a little bit around that eye. Right there. Like that. Tip of the nose. Ooh, buttery. Nice. I like it. Buttery. Maybe a little bit down here on the base of the nose, like 
that. Good. He's so cute. I can't even stand it. Okay. I'll put a little bit here. Some here. Across the top of that eye, some right there. This is fun. Experimenting with art supplies is the best fun in the whole world, in my humble opinion. Okay, give a little Top of that lid right there, and then a little bit right there. Nice, dig it. Okay, a little bit back here. How's he looking? Creepy. <laughs> he's. I honestly gotta gotta tell you, he's he's looking a squish creepy right now, but. Uh, with any luck, any luck at all, um, all these colors, all these colors will just pull together and look really cool in the end, right? God willing, God willing. The Lord's like, I don't know what you're doing down there. You seem to be doing all right though, so just go for it. <laughs> That's enough of this color. What do you guys think? Just uh, since it's enough. Stop it. Let's get this graphite and gold together. I'll make that weird color. Uh, that's not too terrible. All right. All right. Let's put that down. And. I feel like I should get in there with a little bit of this reddish color. What are you? You are dark ochre. Apparently he's ochre. That's his color, you guys. Just little dabs here and there. Like that. Bits around this eye, like that. Just touching, touching the page and picking it up. And a little more there. And then on the inside as well, like that. Okay. Because we are going to get in here with some dark either dark blue or dark black or dark dark brown, I haven't decided yet, to get in the rest of this gorgeous eye and this gorgeous eye. Right? looking a little less creepy now that he has some semblance of eyeball. Eyes are important, right? Window to the soul. Gently skimming the surface for that line. A little bit of dotting. Dot, 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 dot. And then we'll put some here, like that. He's coming along nicely, like that. Maybe some on the other side. 
put it over here like this little bits give him some form okay I really want them to look very painterly. I'm trying to remember that. I don't need to fill in all the spaces. Um, remember the direction of the fur. This is like a mid-tone-ish color to get some definition and interest going on his little self. Get the shape of him in there. Good. there. Okay. Mm, yeah. I'm digging him. I think he looks adorable. Perhaps still a little creepy, but more on the adorable side. He's getting there. <laughs> Skimming that paper. Yeah, now I'm seeing it. You see those lines right there? Right there, right there. That's that ridiculous texture that this paper has irritates me. Maybe it will not be so noticeable if I break it up with the all the colors, right? Throwing in um, those darker furry textures. He's got a mottled kind of coat, like calico cat. Like a wet calico cat, can you imagine? Poor cat. <laughs> cats get a little, although, generally speaking, cats get upset. I was, uh, we had a bad rain, uh, my ex husband and I. And we didn't know, but there was this spot in the in the yard that uh, created this huge puddle. Um, it was a good, I want to say five feet long, and uh, about two feet wide at its like widest point. And of course, they taper off at the ends. But um, he and I were picking up the yard and trying to figure out what in the world we were going to do about all this water, and. Uh, here comes my cat. I, I love this cat. Um, just a regular, you know, traditional, short-haired cat. Um, you know, the multicolored tabby cats. Um, he was a big boy. He, he was a big, big boy. Um, when he comes trotting out of the woods, to the side of the, the driveway. It comes across the driveway. I'm on the other side of the puddle and he comes across the driveway and I've never seen a cat do this before but he walked clean through the center of that puddle like it wasn't even there. <laughs> never ever seen a cat 
like a house cat do that before. He he didn't he walked through like that puddle didn't even exist and he was the prince of the whole wide world. <laughs> Made me laugh. Silly, silly cat. Does anybody else's cat not mind water? I mean, I know you can train a cat to take baths and stuff. I've just never been brave enough to go down that road. It's not a road I, I, I really care to experience or travel. <laughs> How's he looking? Oh, kind of adorable, actually. Kind of adorbs. He's thinking, kind of, lady. Come on. I'm super amazing. Recognize. Recognize the greatness that is he. Alright. I'll come down here and get some more on it over here. I really don't think this piece is going to take terribly long either. Because I'm just kind of skimming the surface and letting the all the layers bleed through and kind of thinking thinking through the the application process of the colors good How's he looking? I'm, I'm kind of super digging him. Okay. Now, now, I think I'd like to go a little blue, but I don't want to go too bright. So maybe this one. What are you? Yeah, this blue gray color. I want to get it on his eye for that shine spot. Down. Come on, you want to do it, don't you? There we go. This wasn't pressing hard enough. Wasn't being quite aggressive enough. There we go. Okay. And then maybe, maybe just a skosh over here. Like there. Some in his, like, yeah. Not everywhere, but kind of make that fur look glossy and smooth. Like it's reflecting the watercolors as well as his fur colors are showing through too, is the thought pattern. That. That. A bit there. That's shining. That's shining. Yeah, that looks cool. Alright, I take it. Anybody else? Digging my weird color combos. It's all about playing with your toys, man. If you don't get them out and play with them, you won't know what they do. You won't know how how many neato things you can create. If you don't give it a whirl. Look at that. Yeah, that looks awesome. Exactly what I was wanting. That painterly look. Really, I'm trying to get rid of those. Those, I don't want to use that word, those silly grid line things bugging me. Come on now, there we go. Okay. 
going to spin this. I think this is broken in the middle. Feels like it is. how this is I'm really really liking how this is turning out my voice gets super soft when I'm thinking I edit the video I'm like why am I talking so low <laughs> well, I was thinking that's why and a little bit here a little bit there suddenly my voice is all weirdly husky for no good reason Some tabs. I like it in there. Yeah, I like it. I am liking it. Put a little bit up here. Drag a line around there. Kind of pull it up like that. A little bit there back of this head right here. A little shiny, shiny, shiny spot. That. Mm. And when I put in that final dark brown, I think that's when this is really going to come together. I hope. <laughs> I sure do hope. Get a little bit of shine marks on those nose. Not all your shine marks need to be like a stark white. They can have the illusion of shine. By putting a light color next to a dark color and then it'll it'll read as a a shine spot. Okay. Those chunks and blended it a little bit. I'll put a little bit here. A little bit here. There. I get a little modeled like that. Mm. It's coming together, you guys. For those of you that don't see it yet, this is the terrible, messy spot. This is the, oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> part of the painting. Oh lord, what did I do? I mean, worst case scenario, I, you know, put it in the pile of, uh-oh, uh, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> and try again. For that. Now I think I'm going to go in with the light color again here and there. Kind of reestablish some shapes and some bright spots. This is broken in the middle as well. I'm really rough on these. <laughs> Anybody else super rough on their oil pastels? Get some. 
light color in there, a little bit there, a couple spots, splotches there, a couple splotches there, because I'm about to go in with that dark. do it you guys we're gonna go in with the dark in a little hot second here and possibly ruin the entire flow of the piece there there that's where things get a little intimidating for me how he looks right now. I really am intimidated to go in there with all the the dark brown next. Feeling it. Feeling intimidation. Soften out some of these stark orangey colors like that. Like that. The lights glinting off his wet fur and all that, <coughs> all that. Wet, wet fur is glistening, reflecting back the colors of the water. Having fun now. Get in there and lay in all the colors. Good times. Good, good times. Okay. A little bit of light color in those eyes. Before I get in there with the dark. Good. Okay. How's that looking? I'm sure, I'm sure some of you are cringing, 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 but I think in the end it will be all right. I hope, because I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I'm having a blast. All right, now let's do, <clears throat> all right, let's get in here with our, our dark brown. This is just a regular, yeah, dark brown. Um, as you can see, I use it a lot. I've already torn the page, torn off half, broke it, and yeah, it's a favorite. 
All right, we'll start down here. It's less scary. Put in our. Dark brown colors. That's exactly what it needs. We might get in here with a little bit of purple, maybe, or blue to kind of deepen some of the spots, like make them look really dark. If we feel like it needs it, might not need it. Um, <clears throat> trying to remember not to fill in all the all the white speckly spots because he is glistening and won't, and he does have. Himself. He's amazing like that. I don't want this to be like a solid line right there. I want it to be broke up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, this is so much fun. I highly recommend picking colors you wouldn't normally put together. Throw them together. See what happens. This is so much fun. Little bitty dabs over that blue. Little bitty light scuff scumbly like you know how you'd scumble about with a paintbrush? Kinda of that. Letting all those beautiful colors kinda of peek through. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh, this is super satisfying. I highly recommend doing this. Well, I could provide the line art for this one as well. That would make things a little less intimidating for people who want to try it, but you don't really um, want to do the drawing part. Maybe I'll do that for you. I'll scan them out when I'm done and then put, actually I could just put a bit of tracing paper over the top of them and get his basic shape for you guys. Would that be something you would like? Then you can print out my line art. And try it for yourself, for reals. And you could use, like, just colored pencils. You could use your oil pastels like I'm doing. Like, really get crazy. Maybe make them all purples and gold. Ooh, that'd be cool. I got excited. <laughs> How neat would that be? I think it'd be pretty neat. Get in the eyebrow shape. Gently, like skimming the surface of the color that's already there. Gently, gently. Yeah. And if it gets too messy, just dab it off on a paper towel. Tissue, extra piece of paper, doesn't matter. Where I want it to be dark, I'm pressing in a little bit 
to let the other color grab a chunk of the pastel and kind of just leave it there. I'll just drag this around where I need the dark areas to be. There's a little bit. Right there. And there's a little bit right here. Pulling in and around. Direction matters. Oh, I'm so loving him. Oh, this is so satisfying. I hope I don't mess it all up. <laughs> she says with confidence and flair. There we go. Yeah? Yeah. And a little bit more. I want to cover everything. But I definitely want to get those textures in. Those under the jaw textures. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And he's got a little bit of weird. This is his nose, I'm pretty sure, but it looks like he's smiling. So I'm doing it. Grab a little line there, line there, line there, comes around like that. Got a little shadowing happening there. A little bit of shadowing happening. Well, it's not really shadowing, it's more like is it the actual color of his nose. But it's, um, you know, not reflecting. His nose is really brown. But all that wetness is reflecting all the other colors. <coughs> so that's what I'm trying to convey right there. Hope it's working. Hope, hope, hope. These weird little shapes he has going on over here. Like that. Oh yeah. Little dabs, little dabs and dashes. Little dab will do ya. coming together now. Get there, get there, get there. I don't want to lose that. I do need a little teensy bit in here. Like that. Makes a difference. Let's put a little of it here as well. Mm. Oh, it's right there. I'm like, I lost some of the shape of the eye. And I don't know how I did that. <laughs> it's a little better. Okay. Like, I'm going to leave that alone for now. This to be a little more 
just a little more. A little more. That's that's all I got. And then maybe skim over that bright yellow right there. Am I getting too lost in details and losing my painterly effect that I really wanted? Probably. So, what am I going to do? Loosen up a little bit. Relax already. I mean, jeez. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. His mottled fur over here. My ex husband would not appreciate this piece. He was a fisherman. From what I understand, seals are the bane of their existence. Because, you know, they eat. It's easy pickings, <laughs> which I think is funny, but, you know, if you're trying to make a living, it's not funny, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Ooh, that's what I get for laughing. Karma just grabbed me right there. Did you see that? She's like, no, no, that's not quite as funny as you think it is, lady. Okay. Then do a gentle skimming over the rest, like that. Just gentle to incorporate all of the all of the textures, right? How's that? Looks crazy, doesn't it? Is it just me? Maybe soften it a bit. Is that helping or making it worse? I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna get in here and put in my dark darks and hopefully and put in his whiskers and hopefully that will really make him look more finished. Maybe I will pause for the evening and and like give you know fresh eyes in the morning kind of thing kind of thing kind of kind of thing what do you guys think should I totally do that fresh eyes in the morning I have a really hard time doing that, by the way. Like stopping in the middle of a painting and waiting till tomorrow to finish. Uh, probably a fatal flaw. Who knows? I 
Yeah, like that, okay. Kinda a little muted, softer look, which I'm digging. There. Some right there. Here. For sure. blue-brown look to his fur. Yeah, digging it. Helps give him that more smooth, wet look, right? Oh, the colors still show really nicely. They're just a little more shiny looking. Okay, now, now, Ooh. what, 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 and what, and what, all right, let's do, let's do, oh, stress, stress, Just a little dab will do ya. There. Dang it. I'm gonna leave that alone. Not the mark I wanted to make, but that's alright. That's alright. these fat pastels guessing exact spot for dropping in <sighs> a little problematic and highly stressful <laughs> ah dark marks in. Okay, I'm gonna zoom way in. You guys can see better what in the blue blazes I'm doing. Um, 
feeling like a dark blue out there would be better. All right, I'm gonna gently, gently, gently get in this other eye. Softly. Try not to mess it up. And suddenly I'm talking all soft, like talking loud is going to make the pastel do something I don't want it to do. Stressful. Um, okay. There. I think that's all the black I want to do. I mean, I totally want to get in here with more black, but for now, should we do blue or should we do purple? Maybe for this one I'll go. Let's go down here. Yeah. Maybe for this one we'll throw in a little purple. Um. Does that look weird? Probably. Probably. Stress because I really like how it's turning out so far. I feel like the purple might be a bad choice. Only time will tell. Okay. Let's zoom out a bit. See what this is doing to him. On a grand scale. Alright. Not too terrible. I'm 
tummy's making noises. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm officially not, I'm officially not sure if I like it anymore. Alright, All right. you know what the best thing I can do right now then is? Stop. Just stop. I'm going to go over all the purple with the brown. Kind of push that purple back a bit. Like that. Okay. Where's that? This guy, this guy, kind of smooth out my, my rough edges a little bit. Soften that a bit. It's not quite that dark, but that's okay. Alright, and then get in here and soften this. Get that eye in. darkness right there. Like that. Good. Okay. Whew. Okay, I think the best thing I can do right now is stop touching it. So I'm starting to really not like it. Okay, I'm going to stop for the night and I'm going to come back to it in the morning with fresh eyes. Swoosh off all my crumbles. Push them all off like that. There we go. He's freshly swooshed. Alright, I'm going to stop for the night. Reassess in the morning. I really wanted to fix this nose, the eye, um, and then possibly lighten this spot right here a little bit more. But once again, I'm going to stop for the evening, and you guys will see me in a hot second. Okay guys, it has been 
three days since I've touched this particular piece, so I'm going to do some finishing touches now that I've looked at them um, for a few days. I don't really want to mess with them too much more because I feel like I could totally pick at this forever and, and turn it into mud. Let's see. What I kind of I kind of like how it is right now. That's, that's just not working for me. Oh, there we go. A little bit of brightness there. Kind of like that. So I wasn't really liking how light that is around his his little eyebrow area there and here like that. Good. And I want some more warmth in those eyes. Tiny little bit right there, just to kind of homogenize, pull some of these colors together a little bit. Well, I think the only other place I really want to fuss with is the nose area. I'd like it to be a little less, just a little less muddied. Do a little bit of brown on it in certain spots. I'll grab my blue. Hit those high points again. There, 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 just a touch right here, and down here, like that, okay. That's well, too hard. This is the Snelly I want again. Very soft pastel. Super soft. Like that. Right there. Kind of just skimming along the surface right now. Okay. Mm 
Okay. I'm going to stop fussing with them because I feel like if I fuss with them too much more, I'm going to ruin them completely. Let's put it as whiskers. Hopefully this works. Let's try the other end where it's a little crisper on the edge. This is Sennelier. Oh, no, it's not. This is my... All right, so this one's a harder one. It's the uh, Mungio one. I just want to... Put in his whisker lines. Maybe the softer one will do better. I don't know. Gently. No. It's too soft. I don't like it. There it is. Kind of spinning it as I go and scraping into the existing colors. There we go. And then over here. Like that. And then he's got his Three little bits going like that. Okay. Okay. And then Pull that blue in a bit. There. And the teal. Okay, I think I'm going to stop fussing with it, even though I would like to continue to pick at it. I'm not going to. Okay. Those got carried away. Pull our tape off. Pull the tape off. Oops. There we go. Try again. There it is. Okay. I do dig all the different colors that are on him. I'm really liking the very, what is it, impressionistic pastel-y painterly look. 
a lot. Um, I have been looking at them for a couple of days now. And I really dig the piece. <clears throat> Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. Let's pull our last piece of tape off. Grab it up here. Pull down. There we go. There he is. A cute little seal. Now I'm going to pick him up. I think I have two pieces of paper here. I do. I don't remember doing that. That's okay. I'm pick them up. Ooh, they do a little close up on all the colors that are in his face and in the body. All those combined. I think it really turned out super cool. I am digging it quite a lot. Soften that a little bit. There we go. Alright. Yeah. You guys can tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd really love to hear what you um, think of all the different color choices and what you would have done differently maybe if you were doing this piece. Um, if you stuck around through the whole video, thumbs up and all that jazz. It really helps the channel grow and I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.